my name is Jez and we're here today at the Harwelden Mansion. I'm going to show you how to make a proper cup of English tea. In the store you're not really, you're just kind of picking up something quickly and it's probably a tea bag and you're just going to fling it in the mug and add water and be done with it. When you make a proper cup of tea with tea leaves, nothing can be rushed so it makes it a, a nice occasion. What we need to make a good cup of tea is an electric kettle, water obviously, so we boil the water. We need a teapot and obviously you need loose leaf tea and a spoon to put them in the teapot. There are many varieties of teas. I personally like English breakfast or Irish breakfast, orange pico or um, Darjeeling is very nice. Earl Grey was a favourite of my mother's, but she seemed to like the perfumey effect. and <laughs> I'm not really into that. So it's a very personal thing. Over here we have the, the tea set. So we have the teacup and saucer and the teaspoon. We have milk, tongs and sugar cubes for anyone who likes sugar in their tea. And then this is a very handy piece of equipment. This is the tea strainer. Because it's loose leaves, you don't want those going into the cup. All right, so what I'm going to do now is just pour a little bit of water into the pot. And we just swish this around the pot so that you warm the pot nicely. That feels good. And you tip that water out. Then, I'm going to assume that there are two people. We have one of these spoons per person and then we're going to have one for the pot. And then we pour on the boiling water. Depending on the size of the pot, I've got it about halfway, I think, at the moment. And then you will just wait for about three minutes for it to steep. Just make sure that you've only boiled it once and once it's boiled, you act quickly to put tea leaves into the teapot and then with the water on top. Don't ever, ever use a microwave to make tea, please, I beg of you. What is a good idea is um, once you've emptied the kettle the first time, boil another kettle of water so that if somebody says, oh, this is very strong tea, I think I need a little water with it, then you can actually add a little water to the cup. It's been sitting here for a few minutes, and now we're going to pour it out. So we're going to pour the milk in first. Some people like a lot of milk and some people don't. And it used to be, in the old days, the bone china was very thin, and sometimes it would crack if the hot tea was poured on first. And then we pour the tea. So we have our strainer and there are some leaves I will show you that we have rescued. And there you have your tea and if you take sugar you use the tongs and uh, pop them in the tea. Now I am going to taste the tea and see how, how we did. Not bad. So that's how you can experience making a proper cup of English tea. It's served with uh, sandwiches and English biscuits. Sometimes they're chocolate biscuits and uh, little cakes or Victoria sponge cake, something like that. This is just one way you can enjoy the mansion life in the comfort of your own home. Cheers. Um.